Hey everybody, Steph here. I'm gonna dispel a myth. Is PHP spaghetti code? No, 10 years ago it was, 10 years ago it was, but comparing PHP coding 10 years ago versus today is like comparing uh, iPhone 10 years ago to today's iPhone. You can't look at 10 years ago what the iPhone was like and go, that's how the iPhone is. No, the iPhone is very different today. It's not the same beast. PHP is very, very different today than it was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yes, you had a lot of unsophisticated spaghetti PHP code, not because of the language, because the programmers were not very sophisticated. PHP was one of those hacking languages in the sense that if you wanted to put up a quick uh, dynamic website, dynamic meaning database-driven website, meaning a website that became a web app, people would hack them together with PHP. PHP was designed to be just a hacked language. You gotta look at its history. But uh, over the last decade, PHP has become every bit as sophisticated as any other uh, web stack that you see out there, whether it be Node, JavaScript, whether it be Java, whether it be uh, Ruby uh, and uh, Rails and Python and Django. PHP with the several frameworks that you have to choose from, whether it be Laravel or Cake or Symfony. These days, I think, well, not I think, Laravel is the king. Very sophisticated, very capable uh, web framework. Just as sophisticated as any of the other ones. This whole idea that PHP is spaghetti code. First of all, if you knew how to code, even back in the old days of PHP 4, if you wrote spaghetti code with PHP, it had nothing to do with the language, it had everything to do with you as a bad programmer writing spaghetti code. You could write modular, well-organized code, even with non-OO PHP. You just had to know what you were doing. Keep that in mind, second of all. Uh, but second of all, modern day PHP is extremely, it's got everything, it's got the namespaces, it's fully object oriented. It has uh, all the capabilities, it has ORMs, it has MVC frameworks that are sophisticated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this whole idea that PHP code is somehow garbage and old is ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Trust me, I've written software, nine commercial software, nine different languages. It's not, it's not, it's actually quite capable. In fact, uh, Studio Web 4, which we're writing now, the beta should be out fairly soon. Uh, I figure we're going to start deploying a couple of classrooms to it within the next month or so. My new lead developer who took over, I don't know, five, six months ago, uh, well, maybe longer. Anyhow, he had never worked with Laravel before and he was blown away. He continues to be blown away at how, how capable the database interaction tools, the ORM tools, ORM is short for object relational mapping. It's basically a layer of code that talks to your relational database. It makes it easy for you to hit it. And he's very, very impressed by how sophisticated it is. And uh, you see the guy who, who, who runs Laravel, who started up, he's apparently, apparently he's a very arrogant nerd and uh, a bit of a douchebag nerd, but that's what I'm told, I don't know, don't know him personally. But as at the same time, he's actually one of these guys who really knows what he's doing. And he's he would look. He looked at Rails. He looked at what they were doing, and he looked at other frameworks. And he just continued to implement that and to uh, create a very sophisticated MVC framework with Laravel. So don't poo poo on PHP because that's just kind of silly, especially given how big the market share is and how performance it is. PHP code at runtime will run circles around Ruby and Rails, or around, run circles around Python and Django, is extremely performant, it's extremely performant. So don't put it down. Facebook is uh, written in uh, PHP, old school PHP. Well, of course, it's gotten more sophisticated over the years, but point is, if it's good enough for Facebook, it's probably good enough for your web app.